TCG Meta Slayer. What's up guys? It's finally here. The fifth anniversary set premium edition. I ordered this the first day back in July 2022 during pre-orders and you know what? I was losing some confidence in Bandai because I emailed them and I said, hey guys, um, at the end of October you said my order was going to be changed to uh, or it got changed to preparing to ship in November and that it would be delivered in November and I emailed them last week and I said, whoa guys, it's going to take a couple of days to get here. I think, right? So like, why uh, why has it been shipped out yet? And they said, well, make sure you uh, just check back on your order. Uh, it will still be shipped within the promised time. And I was like, okay, we'll see. And then literally uh, yesterday or this morning, I got an email saying that my order was already out for delivery without any other updates. And I guess it is coming out from, was it Hawthorne or something? Someplace close to me, I'm in SoCal. So it actually was located pretty close and it wasn't gonna take like a couple of days or whatever to come from some other part of the uh, the country. But let's go ahead and open it now. Uh, and also let's start by showing quickly the play mat. This is awesome guys. I like the artwork they chose for this. Super clean, you got a, you know, basically like a trademark iconic Goku here, Super Saiyan. You know, he's obviously beat up and damaged, but he's still fighting on. I like it, the first uh, play mat that I got for Dragon Ball and it's official. And they also have the new Z energy here. Really, really nice with the Z deck area. And just having this layout is gonna be super nice and uh, definitely be using that. All right, let's quickly just open this. I won't break out all the cards. Um, you know, you guys can look at that online. But let's take a look at how it's all laid out here. Man, this box art is awesome. It's gonna be definitely perfect for a collection and display piece. Has that really nice gold foiling. As you can see, it's nice and smooth. Looks like it's laminated cardboard, you know, and Wow, I got Shenron down there. The sides have, oh, Broly on one side, and the other side has uh, Zamasu, the Wish version. All right, well, let's open this up. Feels very sturdy. Feels like, you know, one of these, uh, you know, just traditional cardboard game boxes that you usually get. But let's go ahead and do the, uh, the honors here of opening with you guys. Oh, snaps, and let's see, the moment of truth. What is my sleeve? I don't know if I have a preference. Oh, yes. This one's awesome. This is the Vegito. Union Patara Fusion, you got Goku and Vegeta. Couldn't have asked for anything better. I liked all the art that was available, but I have some of the cards, so having this is uh, is to me um, way better because I don't have you know this art form in, a, in another card. So these are gonna be my collector sleeves. Excellent, and then of course we have here the included cards from the set. I like how they kind of laid it out in there. And I guess this is gonna have the uh, the secret rare, oh wait. Oh, the secret rares are right here. Alternate art, got the Super Saiyan High Evolution for Goku. All right, I'll check that in a second. And these are the premium um, edition cards. And then I guess, yeah, I don't know if I want to keep this stuff here. I wonder if it, these will go in like this. This is pretty large. So actually, let's take a look here. Got like a deck box here. Okay, not bad. This can probably fit two. Maybe four deck boxes or something like that. But yeah, okay. Again, this is going to be more for a collection. What I'll probably start doing is sleeving up and putting cards in here that I won't play with, but I also want, you know, in my collection, overflow from my um, my binder. But yeah, there you guys go. I think what I'll probably do also is just keep, I don't know if I should keep this in here for now. Like the sleeves, like that. Don't plan. I don't really plan on playing with these sleeves since I'll never be able to, you know, get them again. So I'll probably just keep that there. I'll probably put the packs in there. But yeah, and then they give us, uh, interesting, this comes in like the, the kind of pl uh, plastics you'd get from like a single store. So I'm just gonna go through this really, really fast. And these are, um, whoa. This is just like a, an assortment, I guess. Oh wow, full art, but not foil. So I have this, whoa, a unison. All right, so it's coming with a bunch of stuff that I have. Fedgex, don't have that yet. Ooh, oh nice, I don't have one of these yet. Wow, Vegeta, Majin Buu. So I'm not sure if this was, here's a sampler, one of my favorite decks. I gotta do a profile on this soon, the green Goku. Um. Dark Brawling Paragus, Planet Vampa. So I'm wondering if this was all already planned, the assortment there, and it looks like we're getting foils here. 
So let's go ahead and open this one up really quick. This must be the new, okay, here's a Zenkai card. So these are just like an assortment from past sets, it looks like. I know, Saiyan Shodan and stuff like that. But here are, they're, they're giving you pairs. You're not getting full play sets. But these are all obviously uh, Zenkai cards. And again, I haven't seen any of these at all yet. So I know there's been spoilers for this stuff, but uh, I've just been trying to keep it, you know, more like my own surprise. I'm not gonna read them all here. It's gonna take a very, very long time, but you guys can just verify. Uh, I like how they're all foil, look awesome. Uh, I can follow, always follow up later on and, um, you know, re, I'm going to reread them, obviously, uh, in more detail, uh, more slowly. I uh, want to have more time, but for this video, I just want to kind of show you guys what you're getting here. Tricky thing is, if you want play sets of this, it's like you would have had to have bought two of these. Um, unless now, obviously, you kind of have to chase these down uh, in single format. But yeah, these are going to be awesome, I'm sure. I'm going to look forward to including these in many, many decks. And this as well, I really like these art styles. If you guys get the regular ones too, I think the regular arts all look great as well. But, you know, obviously having this extra like textured and more rare, secret rare set here. I mean, this was, in my opinion too, just, I mean, everything in this premium edition was like so worth it because, you know, mats can be like 30, $40 on their own. Sleeves can be like, you know, 10, 20 bucks. And then even if you pay like, you know, 20 bucks for each of these SCRs in the other art form, then you already, you know, this is this could be like anywhere from $60 and more, you know, plus all of this, you know, and then these cards here. So this value uh, to me for 99 bucks, super worth it. But there you guys go. Wow, these look awesome in person. These look super fantastic. You can see all the extra texturing on them. Wow. All right, and I'm definitely not getting any fingerprints on them. So these are going to go straight to sleeves with my gloves on. And yeah, there you guys go. These are part of the highlight from the set. And then I can just open these really quick for you guys as well. And then we're gonna end it there. I'm gonna see what I get in these packs. Again, it's gonna be nice not to get any, uh, you know, fingerprints on any of these cards. Um, ooh, and again, I haven't spoiled any of these yet, but I'm sure this is all, wow, look at Ultra Instinct. These look incredible. I'm sure these are all, uh, again, spoiled or ooh, a new SS3 Broly. Oh, Z Awakened Leader, that's right. Yeah, I guess I'm sure these are all available online, but yeah, these look incredible with the foil treatment. And I like the way they take the uh, art style on the Z cards. They make them very like in your face and stuff like that. Very like high maximum impact. And it's a blending of like, you know, it's like the hand-drawn Akira Toriyama style, but they kind of gave it a little bit more of a comic book rendering but it looks still exactly like official. So that's what I really like about Dragon Ball. I know they're starting to do more 3D art, which is, you know, in my opinion, meh, you know, but it's fine they experimented with a superhero movie with that kind of cell shading CGI, but I'll always enjoy the more traditional anime, you know, anime and manga, of course. So yeah, I really like the, the way that they stay true and faithful to the art style because that's part of the identity of Dragon Ball. You know, it's hard to imagine it in like a different art style. We got here. Ooh, Colifla. I'm going to have to pick up that call in a minute. But yeah, I'm just going to end the video here and just showing you guys what we get. Whoa. So many options. I'm excited. Again, I haven't had a chance to le learn all about these cards, but ooh, a couple, couple of doubles. But yeah, I'm definitely going to uh, take some time over the next couple of days and I'm going to be building more decks, customizing and adding these and then following up with you guys. Let me know what you think. If you can, get your get your hands on like on a regular edition if you can because you get a chance to get one of these SCRs in the regular artwork and then I think you get some kind of assortment of uh, promo cards but you can get all the details when you check it out. But thanks so much for guys for hanging out. Don't forget to keep your face safe, pray, spread that love, be positive, be thankful and I'll be coming back with a lot more Dragon Ball and other Bandai TCGs for show. Sure.